mean, if he just gets up the sun, then Talonflame comes out and, or Venusaur will come out and just put everything to sleep. The Talonflame's a good answer for his Venusaur, which was the problem for Tiffy last game. So well, if she can find a way to mitigate Venusaur's damage, uh, she might be able to pull this out. Hopefully she can get Talonflame in there and maybe get rid of that Venusaur threat. Gavin coming back with the exact same leads he had last turn and coming out with the Charizard and the Scrafty and the Talonflame and Kangaskhan hit the field for Tiffy. Tiffy trying to get that Talonflame in there for for that Venusaur later on. Scrafty intimidating Talonflame which kind of kind of Talonflame is one of those Pokemon that has a nice ability, but its attacks last are a bit l lackluster, and the Intimidate on it just kind of hurts its value a little bit. Mega Kangaskhan goes to transform, or Mega Evolve right away. <laughs> Kangaskhan Mega Evolving into Mega Kangaskhan. And Charizard protecting itself for this turn, not transforming just yet. Talonflame comes out for the Quick Guard. And Kangaskhan opting to return into the Charizard, and Scrafty goes for the Stone, Stone Edge. Edge. And that is, that is, that is, that targets the, the Talonflame, and Talonflame survives focus with his Focus Sash. Massive damage on Gavin's side, or from Gavin's side, this turn. And uh, Talonflame just trying to get that, trying to protect the team from that fake out. Gavin saw that coming and just went for the Stone Edge. Oh, if, wow. Stranger danger. <laughs> 1,028 eggs hatched by, by Tiffy. That's, that's a lot of eggs. It's also a base, uh, something about math. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffy showing her 23 straight Mason wins. But Talonflame definitely taking, that was just such a momentum drag on her side. Gavin. Tiffy withdraws Talonflame. Tiffy withdraws Talonflame and sends out Rotom. Rotom Wash. And Charizard opts to switch out as well this turn. For his own Rotom Wash. And Kangaskhan goes for a Sucker Punch onto Scrafty. I'm, Quadruple resists. I'm not sure what he was thinking That does very there. negligible damage. And Scrafty comes out with a Drain Punch onto Tiffy's onto Tiffy's Kangaskhan for about 50% and heals off everything that Tiffy did that turn. Just, that is... He's in a really, really rough spot at the moment. Can, Gavin just can complete control of the match. Right. Every uh, move Gavin makes just gives him so much momentum. And the Sucker Punch comes out and Rotom washes Thunderbolt will hit the Gavin Thunderbolt with a critical hit, and Rotom uses Will-O-Wisp to burn Tiffy's Kangaskhan. And now a burn Kangaskhan is no fun. And Scrafty comes out with another Drain Punch, and that should do it for Kangaskhan. Scrafty healing the full. Well, it was already full. And now it is a four on three Gavin lead. I mean, Gavin is so experienced. Gavin um, is our defending national champion. He's our defending national champion versus Tiffy, who, who's, this is her first regional. Her first regional. Her first regional, and she has made top 16 in a field of 500. So she has performed well today and is just so late, and I bet everybody is just so tired right now. Dwee and I struggled to not make cut, and these players are just playing it out like champs. That's right. These, all, everybody in top 32 is just way better than me and Hui will ever be. Rotom coming out for the Thunderbolt onto Scrafty, and Rotom, the other, Gavin's Rotom, fires a Thunderbolt into the Protect of Talonflame, and Scrafty drain punches Rotom Wash from Tiffy's side, and heals back to nearly full health, and Rotom Wash will get back a little bit of health from the leftovers. Tiffy is definitely trying to protect that Talonflame, because she knows she'll need it. Yeah, definitely. That Talonflame is her answer for Venusaur. And, and Scrafty as well. And it's just... It was Such crucial for her team, and eating that Stone Edge turn one was just terrible. For right, her. that was that was a great predict on Tiffy's part, but an even greater prediction on Gavin's part. As Brave Bird comes out from the Talonflame onto Scrafty, knocking it out, and recoil damage shall take down Talonflame with one HP left. And there goes down, there goes Talonflame, 
It's a, it is now two on three. Tiffy's Rotom outspeeds Gavin's Rotom W and fires a Thunderbolt. Gavin's Rotom W eats its Citrus Berry, heals back to 50% health, and will fire back its own Thunderbolt onto Tiffy's Rotom W. I have said Rotom W way too many times. Rotom Wash. Let's go with that. Rotom Wash. Okay. The washing machine. Leftovers will heal Rotom back to about 50%. They're both about equal right now, but Tiffy has a Pokemon advantage right now. Disadvantage, sorry. Gavin still has his um, Charizard in the back. And Gavin and opts to send Venusaur. out Venusaur as Tiffy opts to send out her Dragonite, who we have seen has Dragon Dance, which could be a game-changing move right now. Both players trying to decide on the moves. Gavin has sealed in his moves, waiting upon Tiffy right now to make her selection as we see more stats. 166 Super Training Regiments Come cleared on. by Kino Mars compared to Tiffy's 71 Super Training Regiments cleared. Dragonite goes for a Fire Punch onto the Venusaur, and that does a lot of damage as Venusaur goes for the Giga Drain onto the Rotom Wash, which knocks it out and will heal back the Venusaur to about 50%. Slightly under 50%, knocking out Tiffy's Rotom W. It is now Dragonite versus the world yet again. And the Will-O-Wisp misses on Tiffy's Dragonite. That is pretty big. I, that is good. That is, that is, a, that is a big miss for, for Gavin. And Tiffy, Dragonite's she can pull this out. Dragonite's bulky enough to maybe pull this off? She can pull this out. Dragon Claw coming out from Dragonite onto the Rotom Wash. And that will... It oh, survives. he survives. Rotom Wash survives with 7 HP and a critical hit sludge bomb, and the will wisp avoids again! This is like 2013 Worlds! <laughs> Shoutouts to Aaron Zen. Shoutouts to Cybertron VGC, follow him on Twitter if you aren't already. <clears throat> just, also follow NB Plant on Twitter. The Dragonite is just getting everything it needs, and the Dragon Claw comes out on to finally knock out the Rotom Wash, and... Venusaur comes out with a sludge bomb, but I think Tiffany was chasing down the wrong Pokemon. I think Venusaur was the threat. The Rotom W actually wasn't doing too much damage there, but the the Will-O-Wisp would have hurt. The Will-O-Wisp would have hurt, but Venusaur was, doing was damage. the option, was the out. Venusaur was the key to the to the victory, in my opinion, and now Gavin gets the sun back up to boost Venusaur's speed to double. What what a game so far. <laughs> and Charizard finally Mega Evolves. On the last turn of the match. On the last turn of the match. To bring out the sun. And Dragonite versus the world. And Charizard opting to protect itself this turn. And Venusaur opts to do the same as Venusaur next turn will get double speed and outspeed the Dragonite. Dragonite fires off a fire punch into Venusaur to no effect with that protect up. And I believe that... Dragonite is Dragonite. Uh, Venusaur just has to fire off a sludge bomb and one sludge bomb seals it off for King of Mars. And Venusaur does it, fires off the sludge bomb, and Dragonite goes down. Gavin, the King of Mars, defeats Tiffany Tiffy XY two to zero in the top sixteen here at the VGC fourteen in Long Beach, California. So Gavin advances to the top eight. Gavin advances to the top eight. That was a pretty good match, wouldn't you agree? That was a great match. Uh, for her first outing, Tiffany played really well in the top 32. Right. Uh, Tiffany, she played marvelously. She survived a pool of over 500 players, if I haven't already said that. I'm stressing that right now. 500 players came today. She was one of the 16 remaining. And that is a feat. That That's is, an incredible feat. That is an incredible feat for, for anybody to do. 500 players, top 16. We're proud of you, Tiffy. Gavin moves on to top eight, where he awaits the winner of Michael, My, of o, o, Micah Donut, Michael Selesky, and Jonathan M. So stay tuned for that, guys. And do we have any other news? Um, no one's finished the match. Uh, Gavin has. Gavin is the first one to finish the match. So stay tuned for more news and updates from us here at Long Beach.